This is the first time we've done a gut health special with a neuroscientist and a gastroenterologist, which for me, I believe is the magic combination of this discussion, connecting the mind and the gut. Emeryn Mayer is a leading gastroenterologist and neuroscientist whose research on the gut-brain connection is transforming our understanding of health and emotions. For a long time, IBS was only considered a gut disease. Still, for a lot of my colleagues, it is, and IBD even more. Most IBD specialists do not consider the brain playing any significant Role. Why should people be more aware of this? When I gave lectures to IBD patients, my first question was always, how many people in the room think that stress plays any role in their symptoms? And every hand went off. My hand's going up now. And do you actually advise cognitive behavioral therapy for people that suffer with IBS? The big mechanism how the brain works is based on expectations. It makes projections within minutes what's going to happen. And these are influenced by emotions. If you can just deal with this anxiety and fear of disease, that's a big part of IBS. Yes. Oats are becoming very demonized today. You kind of got these like two camps, one saying people eat oats to lose weight, and then the other people demonizing oats, saying oats is terrible for you and it spikes your blood sugar. You know, it was ridiculous. Something like this can only start in social media without any basis, really. Why do we think that psychedelics is having such a moment? I would say in 10 years from now, we will know the answer and it will be a positive answer. The component has to do with the microbial response to it. What would you say is a roadmap to someone who's wanting to improve their gut health. So the first step has to be